me my own personal visitation. Jesus heard me in the midst of my doubts and my fears. You heard me. I wanted to steal the, bre- the, the holes in his hands. I wanted to put my hand in the spear that is in his side. He wasn't there. But yet when he came, he spoke to me directly. He answered the questions that was in my heart. And I say to you today, yes, some of you have some questions. Some of you are wondering if that which he has spoken to you, that things that you've spoken in the midst of your fear and your doubt, he hears you. But you know the great thing? He doesn't judge you. He doesn't condemn you. He meets you exactly where you're at. And in the midst of that fear, in the midst of that doubt, Jesus will give you your own personal revelation. Jesus will meet you and he'll begin to change in you everything that's inside of you. Why? Why does he do it? Because you have a future. You have a destiny. See, we struggle sometimes with the promises. We struggle sometimes with the things that are spoken to us in the word of God. Be the disciples we struggled. Quit reading the Bible as if it was some miraculous thing. There's a story of men's real lives, our frailties, our hopes. Even with Jesus, we were messed up. But he told us something. He said, I'm going away, but I'm going to send you a comforter. He said, I'm going away, but I'm going to send you someone who's going to teach you some things. He says, I'm going away, but I'm going to be there with you. And he told us that the Holy Ghost was coming. 